Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to see another problem. Check if a number has bits in alternate pattern. The problem statement is given a positive integer n. The problem is to check whether this integer has an alternate pattern in its binary representation or not. Here, alternate pattern means that the set and unset bits in n occur in alternate order, and it is given that n is always greater than zero. Let's take an example. If n put is ten, the output is yes. If you look at the binary representation of 10, then zeros and ones are in alternate position, so the output is yes. Let's take another example. If input is 12, the output is no, because if you look at the binary representation of 12, zeros and ones are not in alternate position, so the output is no. Let's see how to solve this problem. First, we right shift n by one, and then we find zor of n with modified n. If the result has all bits set. Then the given number has bits in alternate pattern as not. Let's understand this using an example. If n is equals to 42, this is the binary representation of 42. I have highlighted the position of ones with red color and the position of zeros with green color. As we can see that the number 42 has bits in alternate pattern. So when we write so 42 by one, we get this binary sequence. Here, all positions of one has now zero and all positions of zero has one. And when we perform ZOR operation on n with modified n, we get a number which has all bits set. This is only true for those numbers which has bits in alternate pattern. Let's take another example. If n is equals to 16, this is a binary representation of 16. Just like earlier, positions of one has been highlighted in red and the positions of zero has been highlighted in green. As we can see, 16 does not have bits in alternate pattern. When we write 16 by 1 and do ZOR of this number with 16, we get a number which clearly does not have all bits set. And it is true for all those numbers which does not have bits in alternate pattern. Let's see the code. In the main function, we call the function bits are in alt order and pass the value of n. Inside the bits are in alt order function, we do write shift of n by 1 and find the ZOR within and store the result in num. Then we call the function all bits are set to check if all the bits in num is set or not. Inside all bits are set function, we do bitwise AND of n and n plus 1. If all bits in n are set, then this operation will result into 0. If it is equal to 0, we return true indicating all the bits are set and hence the number has bits in alternate pattern. Else we return false indicating the number does not have all bits set and hence the number was not having all bits in alternate pattern. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.